Hey everybody, Richard Blackstone here with today's Create One Love Note. And uh, what we do is we send these love notes out every day to our email list. And so that way you can start your day off on a powerful, positive love note. <laughs> and you know, this is really important because the law of attraction tells us that you bring in life what you put your attention on. So if you start your day every day with a powerful, positive love note, then the law of attraction starts bringing you powerful, positive things to match those powerful vibrations. That's the way the universe works. So there's a lot more than just, you know, reading a love note. Uh, you're also starting your day in a powerful, positive way. And uh, so what we thought, well, we can expand on that by doing video love notes. And that's what you're getting today, because we get to expand on it. And you're going to see why. <laughs> okay, love note says... We all have a purpose in life, so what is God's purpose? Well, let's start by saying what God's purpose is not. God's purpose is not to frustrate you, or to test you to see if you are worthy, or to punish you if she decides that you are not worthy. God's purpose is to glorify us because she is glorifying herself. When we find the glory of our being, we are demonstrating the glory of God. That is why God sends out nothing but well-being at all times. And it's this well-being that is God's love and energy. It can only be well-being because the glory of God is always positive and good. That's the nature of the beast. We have the choice to go with the eternal flow of well-being or to resist it and experience the natural consequences of our choices. Go with the flow and glorify yourself every day <laughs> oh wow you know the cool thing about it is like these i take these from our archive so i this one's uh, like two years old and so poignant today you know i love the question and i i don't even remember uh i'm asking this but i i kind of remember writing it and it says we all have a purpose in life so what is god's purpose and you know this is such a basic question and you know you think that Religions would get it right, <laughs> but you know, religions have often taken the tact that uh, God's purpose is exactly what it's not purpose that, that, that purpose is. <laughs> often they say that you know the purpose of God is to uh, test us and frustrate us and and see if you're worthy. Well, that's not God's purpose at all. God's purpose is to send you nothing but well-being because that's the only thing God can do. And the reason it's the only thing God can do is because God is made up entirely of this one essence that we know of as unconditional love. That is love without conditions. That is pure, unadulterated love. It's, it's the only thing that God is. Now, our, our quantum physicists call it energy, but I call it unconditional love because that's exactly what it is. And the way it manifests in our physical universe is through this eternal flow of well-being. You know, you are ensconced in this well-being at all times. You know, you don't feel it or taste it or touch it or smell it. It's just w the, the uh, what, what we live in is this flow of well-being. And you can either go with the flow and glorify yourself, be grateful for everything that happens in your life because it's all good, or you can resist the flow. You know, you can fight it. You can choose to fear life and fear uh, uh, other people and things. That, that's totally your choice and everything's okay. It doesn't matter. Because God's purpose is to understand itself through your experiences. So whatever you do is okay with the source. It doesn't matter. Whatever you choose is fine. So you can stop all the self-hatred and self you know, uh, unworthiness and all that because nobody is, everybody's worthy. <laughs> because everybody comes from source energy. So, powerful, powerful love notes. What is God's purpose? To glorify itself through us. That's all it is. To know its own magnificence through our magnificence. And it's all good. There is no judging. There's no condemning. Whatever you choose to do is absolutely fine with the source. <laughs> so, you know, um, the way you glorify, you know, the source is to serve all of humanity at the highest of the level. 
And what happens is when that when you do that, you're serving yourself. That's the nature of the game. When you are really good to yourself, you're serving all of humanity. When you are really bad to yourself, well, you are like saying this that all to all of humanity, and and it's not hurting. It's it's really hurting you, right? Yeah, obvious. Wow, powerful, powerful. So that's what we do here at Create One Love is uh, you know, these tools and uh, powerful techniques and different programs to help you understand this stuff at a deeper level because the deeper you understand it, the easier it is for you to create your life the way you want it. So I'm going to give you a free ebook to get you going. It's called Who You Really Are and Why You Are Here. Powerful ebook. Just go to this website, ConsciousLifestyleSecrets.com. And uh, it's right there on the front page. Just go ahead and get it, and you can be reading it in a couple minutes. So go read the book, go out and walk in nature, have some fun, and as always, live in love. <laughs> Thanks again. See you tomorrow.